You ever wish you had a crystal ball and could figure out exactly how big your facility could ultimately become based on your current signup rate, based on your current churn? Well, I'm about to walk you through the pie equation, which ultimately will help you find your hypothetical gym revenue max or member max. And it will help you show exactly what levers you can pull inside of your business to ultimately increase your capacity, increase your potential for growth so that you can reach more people, change more lives and make more money. My name is Kale Owen. I'm the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. Our entire goal here over the past six years, as we have grown and scaled to over $100 million in revenue, is to help gym owners arm them basically with the ability to reach more people, change more lives, and stack a whole bunch of cash so that they can make a ton of money inside their business and ultimately have a bigger impact in their communities. And this equation is one that I use quite frequently whenever I coach other gym owners because this allows me to see what is the hypothetical max that a gym could get to based on their current rate of signups and monthly churn. But I think it's really important before we hop into this that we understand the basic principle of what this looks like followed by we need to understand some math, okay? Math is an amazing thing. Data is something that's really important inside of any business, especially inside of a gym. So we understand exactly where our bottlenecks are, where we're doing really well. So we can ultimately shore up our bottlenecks and exploit our strengths so we can continue to grow and change more lives. So the pie equation is very simple. Essentially, while you're looking at this, it says number of referrals plus number of signups from ads. Basically what it means is number of signups. So what are the number of new members that you added to your business? And you're going to divide that by your churn percentage. Okay. So the example down below is let's say you had five referrals or three referrals. Sorry. So you sign up 18 people and 15 EFTs, so members, but you have a 10 percent churn. That would mean you're going to divide, you're going to take 18 divided by 0.1. That's going to give you 180 EFT max. Meaning if everything stays the same, you keep signing up 18 people and your churn stays the same, you're going to cap out at 180 people because when you get to 180 people and you have 10% churn, you're losing 18 people a month. And if you keep signing up 18 people, you're going to stay in the exact same spot. And it's just kind of a, a simple hamster wheel that you're going to be on. Not a great place to be, but good news is you can pull different levers because if you sign up more people, People, now your max changes, right? If you sign up 20 people, now your max is 200. If you sign up 25 people, your max is 250. If you drop your churn, now your max totally changes. So it's very important to understand that. But one thing I do want to hit on before you leave this video is how do we calculate churn? And I see this a lot inside of uh, gyms. They do not understand how to do this. So let me break this down for you real quick. How to calculate churn. Essentially, it's the number of EFT, so reoccurring revenue members, not like trial members or anything like that. You can track churn there, but this is different. This is how many people are on a draw or your EFT every single month and how many exited. So take the number of exits in a month and you're going to divide that into the number of exits that started that month. Here's the example. So let's say in the month of, let's just pick a month. In the month of July, you started the month with 50 EFTs. So that's the bottom number. That's a denominator. And you had 10 of those people exit, regardless of how many people you signed up. We'll forget that. Think of just the EFTs that you started with. Of those people, how many exited? If you had 10 exits, you're going to take 10 divided by 50. That gives you 0.2. It's a decimal point. What that means is just move the decimal point over two times. That gives you 20% attrition. So that is your churn, 20% churn. That means 20% of your members are leaving every single month. And so this is a an very, very important number to understand. And one that I see most gym owners have zero idea how to actually track and they don't track it. A lot of times this is one of those things where gym owners are like, no, this is my, my gym is doing great. My community's awesome. No one ever leaves my gym. And then we have asked the simple question of cool. How many people do you sign up every month? And they're like, oh, I usually sign up anywhere between eight to 10 people. Great. But you just told me that you've been at 150 members for the last two years, but yet you're telling me no one leaves. And yet you still sign up eight to 10 new people every single month. So something's wrong here, right? You're either not signing up the amount of people or people are definitely leaving. So it's really important to understand these numbers. If you know these, now we can go back to this hypothetical gym max and you can really start to pull some levers because in this scenario, if we drop the churn by 5%, right? And you, you still have the 18 people, all of a sudden your max goes to 360. So it doubles. Now you can really start to have some fun with this and really look at areas of weaknesses inside of your business so that you can grow and scale. Now, if you like this information, number one, implement it inside of your business, start tracking your churn, run your hypothetical gym max. And I'd love to know what it is down in the comments. So drop it down below. Let me know. Besides that, hit the subscribe button. And if you want more information like this, we put together a free download called the seven money models we use to scale gyms to over a hundred thousand dollars per month, like clockwork. You can get it totally for free. It's the same information that we teach our gyms that in our clients that pay us over $40,000 a year to work with us. You can grab it for free just by clicking the link down in the description. Hit that subscribe button as well, and I'll catch you on more videos.